Hi, hello, this is Vamshi Krishna. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see some of the multiple choice questions. The subject is Nursing Foundation. The first question is Electrocardiogram, that is ECG, used to assess. The options are Heartburn, option B, Blood count, option C, lung function, option D, brain structure. The right option is heartbeat. By the usage of electrocardiogram, we can see the function of the heart. The next question is, mitosis is a condition of, the options are, Option A, cell breakdown. Option B, cell division without reduction. Option C, death of the cell. Option D, cell division without chromosomes. The right option is Option B, that is cell division without reduction. The explanation is Mitosis is the process by which a cell replicates its chromosomes and then segregate them, producing two identical nucleus in a preparation for a cell division. Cell division nothing but the two cells, the daughter two cells are coming from the one cell and sharing of chromosomes equally. So mitosis is generally followed by equal division of the cells content cell content nothing but nucleus mitochondria cytoplasm all the uh, all the organelles which are present in the each cell so the two daughter cell that have identical genomes genomes are nothing but chromosomes so that is called mitosis the next question is normal respiration is also known as the options are option A, apnea, option B, dyspnea, option C, tachypnea, option D, eupnea. The right option is option D, eupnea. Eupnea is a nothing but it is a normal respiration of a living or organism that is humans or animals birds whatever so the, uh, we will see some of the terminology related to the respiration pattern first one is the apnea apnea is absence of breathing when the person is died so in that condition the person will not have any breathing movement that is called absence of breathing Eupnea is nothing but normal breathing. Orthopnea is the only able to breathe comfortable in upright position. So when the person is in sitting position, if the person is having comfortable while sitting or any other position that is called orthopnea and also this position sitting position may call orthopnic position. And the next one is the dyspnea. Dyspnea is uh, nothing but breathing difficulty. It is a subjective sensation related by patient as to breathing difficulty. That is called dyspnea. The next one is the hyperapnea. Hyperapnea is nothing but increased rate of breathing. So increased depth and rate of the <coughs> breathing. So in that again, Hyperventilation and hypoventilation. Hyperventilation is nothing but increased rate of the respiration and increased depth of the respiration. And hypoventilation is totally opposite to the hyperventilation. That is decreased rate and depth of the respiration. The next one is a tachypnea. Tachypnea is nothing but increased frequency of blood gas abnormality. So tachypnea it is a increased respiration and also increased 
blood gas uh, increased frequency of the respiration but there is no changes in the blood gas the next one is a uh, kushmal respiration so kushmal respiration is increased rate and depth of the respiration over a prolonged period of time so during the some period of time the increased rate and depth of the respiration that is breathing in response to metabolic acidosis so due to the metabolic acidosis the person may have the kushmal breathing so the body attempt to blow off the co2 to buffer a fixed acid such as ketone ketoacidosis is a is seen in the diabetes mostly in the diabetes due to the ketoacidosis and uh, and presence of ketone bodies in the body to uh, to exit this uh, uh, carbon dioxide so this kushmal breathing is going to happen in the person to exit the carbon dioxide in the blood the next one is a chain stroke respiration that is csr so this is gradual increase in volume and frequency so the breathing volume will be increased and frequency also will be increased followed by a, a gradual decrease in volume and frequency with apnea periods of 30 to uh, 10 to 30 seconds between the cycle so in this period the person will have the gradual increase in volume and frequency and a gradual decrease in volume and frequency so the graph if we see the graph of the respiration we can see it is like a chain that is called chain stroke respiration so the next question is collapsing pulse also known as so when the person is having collapsing type of pulse the options are option a bounding pulse option b water hammer pulse option c pulse alternos option d bigeminal pulse the right option is option a option a is a bounding pulse so when the person having the collapse type of pulse that is also called bounding pulse <laughs> the next question is in an healthy person stroke volume is about so in a normal healthy person what is the volume of stroke volume so stroke volume is nothing but the the pumping volume of the heart so for each for each cycle of the cardiac conducting system how much ml of blood will come out from the heart the options are option a 50 ml option b 100 ml option c 70 ml option d 170 ml the right option is 70 ml so in a normal healthy person the stroke volume is 70 ml the next question is in children calculation of drug is done on the basis of so in the case of children how we can calculate the drugs based on <coughs> the options are option a age option b weight option c height option d length the correct option is weight the based on the weight of the children we can calculate the drugs according to their weight the next question is drug that cause expulsion of gas from intestinal tract so to expel the gas from the intestinal tract which drugs are may be used the options are option a astringent option b carminatives option c catharytics option d emetics the right option is option b carminative drugs are used to excel the 
excessive gas which are present in the intestine the next question is one gallon is equal to how much ml the options are option a 200 ml option b 300 ml option c sorry option a 2000 ml option b 3000 ml option c 4000 ml option d 5000 ml the right option is option c 4000 ml for each gallon of the fluid we can calculate into the ml that is 4000 ml the next question is the most preferred intramuscular injection site for children and infants so in the case of children and infants which intramuscular injection site is most preferable the options are option a deltoid site option d option b dorsogluteal site option c ventrogluteal site option d vastus lateralis the right option is vastus lateralis that is option d so in the case of children we can give the intramuscular injection mostly on vastus lateralis site which are present in the lateral side of the thigh the next question is insomnia insomnia means so what is the meaning of insomnia the options are option a inability to walk option b unconsciousness option c inability to sleep option d inability to eat the right option is option c that is inability to sleep when the person is not having sufficient sleep that is called insomnia the next question is the term melina means so the what is the meaning of melina the options are option a dark colored stool containing blood option b pus in the urine option c painful micturition option d sugar in the urine the right option is option a that is dark colored stools which contain the blood so due to the presence of blood in the stools the stool will be colored in a dark the next question is the enema given to relieve gaseous distension is so when the person is having gases in the intestine so which type of enema can be given to the patient the options are cold enema option b antihelminthic enema option c carminative enema option d purgative enema the right option is option c carminative enema so this carminative enema we can give the person to expel the gases from the intestine the next question is involuntary passing of urine is known as so when the person is unable to control the bladder so the person will have involuntary passing of urine so what it means the options are option a enuresis option b elimination option c maturation option d defecation the right option is option a enuresis so enuresis is the condition when the person is unable to control the bladder the next question is the ideal temperature and pressure used for autoclaving so in the case of autoclaving procedure which temperature and pressure is 
mostly preferable. The options are option A 119 Celsius at 12 PSI. PSI is nothing but pound force per square inch. Option B 120 Celsius at 15 PSI. Option C 121 Celsius at 15 PSI. Option D 122 Celsius at 16 PSI. The right option is option C that is 121 Celsius at a PSI. The next question is hot test is used to detect which of the following in the urine. So when we are analyzing the urine sample we are using hot test. So what is the purpose of hot test? The options are option A bile, option B albumin, option C sugar, option D acetones. The right option is option B albumin. So to find out the albumin in the urine we can use hot test. The next question is the Benedict test is used to detect. So what is the purpose of Benedict test? The options are option A sugar, option B albumin, option C bile, option D protein. The right option is option A sugar. To find out the sugar in the urine we can use Benedict test. The next question is the yellow color of deposit after the Benedict test indicates. So in this picture you can see the different colors of the test tubes which are used in the Benedict test. So the right the uh, options are option A no sugar, option B 1%, option, option C 2%, option D 3%. The right option is option b 1% so when the benedict result benedict solution result is yellow color means the person will have the 1% of sugar so in this picture you can see so in this picture we can see the different types of uh, colors so the benedict solution result if the if we get blue solution means that is none of the sugar present in the urine and if we get green color means there will be some traces of sugar sugar in the urine and the next one is the orange color means moderate color and a brick red color means large amount of sugar The next question is Rothera test is used to detect. So what is the purpose of Rothera test? The options are option A sugar, option B albumin, option C acetone, option D bile. The right option is option C acetone. To find out the acetone we can use Rothery test. The next question is bile salts in urine are detected by which of the following test the options are benedict test option b rotharas test option c cold test option d hayes test the right option is hay test so to find out the bile salts in the urine we can use hay test the next question is the highest level of need according to Maslow hierarchy model among the following. So we all know that Maslow hierarchy need theory. So which is the highest level of need according to the Maslow theory? The options are option A physiological needs, option B self-esteem needs, option C love and belonging needs, option D safety and security needs. The right option is option B, 
self esteem the self esteem needs are the most uh, the highest needs of the human being the next question is priorities of planning in nursing process is done by so in the nursing process how we can plan the priorities the options are option a information processing model option b interpersonal theory option c stages of illness model option d maslow hierarchy needs put the correct answer in the comment box thank you guys for watching my video